Welcome, my name is Lawrence Maneka and you are watching The Final Cut. Join us as we embark on a journey to unearth some of South Africa's brightest stars. One actor or actress must tower above the rest. Their prize, a custom written role on an SABC drama just for them. And helping us on this journey are all three fabulous judges who have an eye for talent and are equally talented themselves. Our first judge was well known for her role as Maggie on Isidingo. Since then, she's cultivated her craft and become a well-renowned casting director. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Karen van der Laag. Hey. I'm looking forward to finding some really raw talent. From seeing someone who has been standing in a queue outside with hope in their heart, coming into an environment where they just succeed and push through all the levels that we give them and all the challenges we throw at them. Our next judge is a multifaceted artist who writes, directs and produces some groundbreaking web content. She's also known for leading roles in drama such as Generations and Jacob's Cross. Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful, the talented Mabatu Munsu. I would like to find an actor who already has a voice, even though it's not refined. People who are memorable, who do have star quality, and are authentic storytellers. Also nominated as the best first feature film at the Africa Academy Movie Awards, the award-winning director of happiness is a four-letter word. All-round Mr. Nice Guy, I give you Tabang Mule. It's time on South African TV that we, we get surprised. We, we see a texture of a personality of an individual that we've never seen before, but at the same time, the person is a true representation of South African culture. Now that you've met the team, our first stop is the beautiful city of Bonnet. This is the final cut. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in Pretoria for the first phase of the final cut auditions. The actors gathered here today have prepared a one-minute monologue and if they blow the judges' socks away, they will be back again tomorrow for the callbacks. We are looking for four people to go on to Johannesburg to compete for the coveted prize of starring on an SABC drama. Two of our three judges are already here. Karen van der Laag who will be joining us tomorrow. Hey, you know how it goes, it's showbiz. But not to worry, Mabatu and Tabang have everything under control. I've always wanted to do something that, you know, goes out, puts people on a stage, and then from the stage they go onto a set. So I feel absolutely blessed to have this opportunity. It's also a huge responsibility. I've done a lot of research on what is important, how to go about it. Um, I really, really want to make the right decision. It's also important that the people that make it to the final rounds have versatility. It's important that we can plug them in to any SABC show, whether we want to plug them into an SABC one, two or three drama series, any of the hallmark shows that SABC has, this person needs to have that versatility. Everything is ready for our first contestant to perform their monologue. Tension is high and the pressure is mounting. only be 34 callbacks. <sighs> it's grueling. Man, the line, there are so many people here. She was really long, like really, really long, all the way around the corner. I'm glad I'm not these guys. All the judges. I have a job. I'm keeping it. Host. Final cut. Good sir. Yes sir. How are you? I'm feeling kind of confident right now. Yeah. yeah. Sun will have you. Finding you. Uh, thank you. Um, my name is Lebohang Msiza. I am 24 years old. Um, a lot of people ask me, but you dress for an audition. I was like, no, I'm dressed for my job. I'm going to take it. Every time something good would happen in my life, I found a way to mess it up. I would sabotage just like you're doing. 
But Helen, I realized that I do deserve good things and a good life. And I deserve you. Baby, I love you. But I need you to trust me. Okay. You've got a Will Smith thing going on. <laughs> really, my brother? But like Will Smith, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh. <laughs> what, the haircut? Yeah, like uh, back in the day. There was a lot of truthfulness in this performance. Uh -huh. yeah. I don't know what it means to you, this piece that you just did, but there were moments of absolute truth okay. that I enjoyed. Great. Well done. Thank you. Tomorrow? Yeah, let's see you tomorrow. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're cool. the first one to tell us you love us. I hope you mean it. No, no. <laughs> you're my people, though. But we can't say from where, though. So you're through. <laughs> you're back for callback. I'm through. That's good. How are you feeling? Standing in line, waiting. I actually want to go to the bathroom. That's how nervous I am. Really? Yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm also nervous. Are oh, you nervous? Um, yo, my heart is beating <laughs> all over my body. Yeah. I'm actually quite nervous. <laughs> yeah. Hello. 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 How are you? Good are you? Okay. As soon as you're ready. Good luck. Okay. I live in Pukavu. Many people have asked me how I survived. Well, it's not that I was smarter or stronger than anyone else. Just something inside of me couldn't go along. Somebody almost walked off with all of my stuff and didn't care enough to send a note home saying I was late for my solo conversations or two sizes too small for my own tacky skirts. What can anybody do with some no value in open market? Let's start again. Do it as you, not as the person you saw in the movie. Okay. Yeah, we watched the movie. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. let's, let's see you. Somebody almost walked off with all of my stuff. And see, he didn't care. That's good. Keep mm, on that. Thank you. <laughs> yes. It's better though. Yeah. There is eight rules. But the most important one is that no one, and I mean no one, can take away anything from you. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm still nervous, thanks. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So how did it go? They stopped me and kindly told me to just be me. And yeah, I listened to them and thankfully it got me through. It got you through? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> there was something that just wasn't there. Thank you very much. Had your friend with you? Yes. And I just saw her now and she told me she made it through. Yes. How do you feel about that? I, we actually said this to each other. Okay. If we don't both make it, one has to get it. Really? And she did, so yes to the team. Oh, yes. South Africa, hashtag <laughs> friendship goals. You know, what's tough is when you come with a friend who goes through. My name is Nsika. My surname is Benya. I am from Tofimbaba, the Eastern Cape. Hey, tell my brother. Hello. How are you? I'm going to well, I'm expecting today to go very well because I prayed and I worked very hard. My name is Holly. Uh, Holly, I'm 22 years of age. This is Sira Kambule. I'm about to do a monologue from Tyler Perry's For Colored Girls. My name is Bula Luandaba. Take it away. I know it's hard to believe when they say that I understand how you feel. Yet again, Wusisi wears the village town. The butt of the joke. And she gave me this look. She gave me this look that made me feel like I was dirt. I was stupid. I, I allowed myself to get hurt. And that's not real. It's not real, not anymore. If a guy doesn't call me back, I would like to reserve the right to call him at 15 minute intervals until he calls me. But if, but if he sees my name on the phone all the time, he's gonna think I'm some kind, of, some kind of psycho or something, and I'm not. Obviously, 
Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. That was refreshing. Yeah. After a long day of painful stories. <laughs> I did enjoy your performance, but I, I did remember that you're acting. So my, my note would be just to make it more natural. Okay. Yeah. So that you're not invested so much in proving that you're this character. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, so we, we will see you tomorrow. All right, thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Bye. So we are going to bless you. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. Try something different. See you tomorrow. Okay, okay. thank you so much. Well done. All the best. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Sure. A day before the audition started, one of our judges went on a little talent hunting mission. Mama Tumun hit the streets of Tuane to see if there are any hidden gems, any thespians out in the streets. I don't know if she found anything, but let's see how it all went down. I'm here in Pretoria at the Union Buildings. I heard that there's some talented actors that hang around here. So I'm gonna see if I can find a gem. I'm gonna go down and audition it. Come with me. Hello. Hello. Hi. I don't know, I could be wrong. Your posture gave it away. Are you the actors that I'm looking for? Yes. yes that's cool. <laughs> it's, it's a huge opportunity to be able to go out and look for people um, outside of common places like the big cities, Johannesburg, Cape Town, uh, Durban, you know, but to, to go into places like Meritzburg, to go into Swane, um, to go into the Eastern Cape and say, we are interested in what you've got to give. Should have seen how they pushed to say goodbye to your mommy, Hester. But I couldn't cry. I was hot and, and dry inside. I want to sit in the garden and read one more good book. Most of all, I want to sleep. I brought you these flowers. Little bit wilted. I got them from behind, from the shop, just across the street. I'll get the next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the two that I'm taking with me are you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And you. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You so As you can see, Mama Too had a hands full auditioning all those hopeful actors. It's time for us to head on over to the State Theatre for the main event, Audition Day One. I was making preparations yeah. for my performance. I was like, yeah, let me just do something different. Hey. Hello. Don't take no for an answer. Oh. I never take no for an answer. Look, this is not me. I don't walk like this. I don't talk like this. So don't, don't we have like a ponytail thing to tie your hair back? You see, like that, that's, you already look so different. Because your hair is so big, right? Mm. That like, I don't, I end up being so distracted by everything else that like, Cool. Yeah. Start again. Much better. Take off that weave or whatever it was so that I can see your face and I can see your performance. I just wanted to fit in. I don't know how my life had to come to this point, but this is where it all ended up. I don't want this life. I'm tired. I'm tired. This is not me. This is not me. I, th I suspected that, that there was something you wanted to do with the wig. <laughs> so I was waiting to see what was going to happen. I had no idea. So you knew that you were going to take it off when I was telling you. So while I was giving you notes about your hair, you're like, N this homie don't know. <laughs> no, but then I mean, I just. I just okay. Because you didn't make that commitment. I couldn't connect to you because it felt like you didn't want to connect. I don't think you're at the point yet where we can put you through to the next round.
you're not new to television, you've done some really great stuff. I have. And you are someone that I personally will be looking out for. Um, do you know who the judges are? No. You don't? I don't. Do you want me to tell you? No, don't tell me. Okay. So you want to go in there raw, cold and do your thing? Yep. Alright, cool. I'm going to let you do that. Cool. He beat me up. He beat me up. Yeah, well. Gubani onga shoni pa umahosha. I deserve it. I am not worthy. I am useless. I stink. Ya nuga, ya nuga, ngufuna mzimba, ngufuna, ngufuni. I stink, I don't want this body anymore. I hate it, I hate this body, I hate it. I hate you. Cool, thank you. Cleo, you've got quite a bit of acting experience. I do. Uh -huh. I ask that because of the, the choices you made when, when, when writing the scene. They, they, were, they were the stereotype of what a sex worker is supposed to, to be. Right. The, then with the experience that you have, I would have wanted to see something more. So I liked your performance. So I think what I enjoyed was the contrast of like someone who was saying they're not deserving, but actually believing like they are deserving. Yeah. For me, I think you can do better. I know. I know what you mean. Yeah. I don't know if I'm, I'm being fair or biased just because I've seen other things that you maybe well, maybe think... I'm being biased, but I feel like. So sorry to cut you. So for my side, it's a yes. So I don't think you like. I think it's important for the judges to not always agree. We're all seeing the same person, but we're all seeing them in different ways and different textures and different performance abilities that that person has. I, I would have liked to be surprised. I've, I've seen this before, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I appreciate it. So that. see you at the callbacks. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. So, South Africa, this is what Pretoria Twane looks like, okay? This is everybody who's here to find out if they stand a chance to compete against one another. To tell you the honest truth, I just told myself, whether that queue is long or what, I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna do what I do best. Hello. How are you, how are you brother? <laughs> cool. Cool. Whatever I do, I do best. That's me. If I'm cooking, I cook best. If I'm sweeping, I sweep best. Now I'm doing my own passion, acting. So I make sure every time I'm on that stage, every time I'm auditioning, I just give it all. I'm here to do a monologue, which is called Abducted. Oh, good. Go for it. Go ahead. Look at me. What do you see? I'm asking you. Look at me. What do you see? Do you see a normal human being? You said to me, I will love you till the sun no more rise from Pumalanga. But today you are the woman that stabbed me in the back and sleep with my brother. My brother, Baliza! My brother! My own brother! What are you doing? What kind of a woman are you? We were supposed to go out on a date. Isn't that what we talked about on Monday? What happens to Ashley? You're different from other girls. I knew you were special from the very first day I saw you. You were just playing me. I rushed to get my hair done. I rushed to work. I rushed to cook. I rushed to pick up the kids. I rushed to pick up mother. Whoa! I even rushed to do the damn laundry. We are doing. 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 I mean, why are you trying to separate? Why, I mean, please, why can't you do this to me? Baby, you were talking about castrating people, cutting their hands off, legs, I mean, just dismembering people. Because nobody's castrating this. Castrating what? <laughs> My stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
They put me in your coma or something. They took my heart. Someone felt better than you today. Someone felt better than yeah, me. Yeah, today we did. This thing, I was afraid to break it or something. Next time, brother. Thank you. Next time. Can't have my chance here. This is serious. Dreams are being made here. When you greeted us, you had such a nice voice, good looking, and then you started and you were like, bow, 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 bow. and then I didn't know what was happening. I mean, this person has a really amazing look. I just wish they could act. Thank you. But it, right. yeah, we won't see you for the complex. I don't think it's going to get you through to the next round. Mm. Thank you, sister. <laughs> for, yeah. And of course, you know, you get your, you get the ones that make you laugh, you know, the, the ones that are... I don't think you're at the point yet where we can put you through to the next round. Didn't get in, but it's fine. It's always the next time. Stay positive, guys. <laughs> As you can see, the judges had their hands full auditioning those very passionate actors and none of them are taking this lightly. I can say from personal experience how difficult it is to break into the industry. Now, it may look fun, but I assure you there is nothing fun about an audition for that little chance at doing what you love. It's time for us to go back and see how the rest of the day panned out. Hi. Hello. Hello. I didn't want to miss these auditions because I love acting and this for me is an opportunity of a lifetime. Oh, hi guys. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, hi, how hi, are hi. you? My name is Lunge Lembulana. These kind of shows, they are like big opportunities for people like us, you know. Yeah. So you want to be real when you do it and you want to show, you know, emotion and I'm sure there's a lot of people who could relate to the audition. Sure. Go ahead. I was too young when Ubaba, Wangshia Bahamba, to get a life while Minang Safarang Lamba. I wanted those moments, few and far between as they were. I wanted all your time and affection. I just don't know why I keep remembering everything about that article. Her name, it was in black and white, right under the ITE in suicide. A bully will. Bully another kid because he's feeling pain at home. A girl might feel very happy and decide that his whole squad needs to be happy. Because my family has to eat, even at the price of me right now having to die for it. Thank you. There were there were moments where I was starting to enjoy your rhymes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was in there. You you didn't sustain it all the time, but when you did get into that, I like the flow, rhymes when they had the Was the like, knack. hey, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. There were some emotional parts which I thought were really cool um, or that I engaged in. I think you're definitely worth seeing again. Thank you. You got something. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. But don't bring any sorrow. <laughs> May issue. Nice, but not enough dimension for me. There was something that just wasn't there. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you coming and for trying. Thank you. You've got a positive vibe about you. I do, but I didn't make it. You didn't make it? No. What do you think the problem was? Well, the judges said I just didn't give them enough. The judges? Yeah. It was too subtle that you didn't even know what was happening. I have no doubt that you'll be great in there. Yeah. Just remember to breathe and everything will go fine. Thank you. Okay. I like acting because of uh, me, I can say acting I was born with. 
but now because of uh, I, I never went to school to say I'm doing this and that. I just want to try and get to to to, to do something. Hi, Hello. how are you? I was supposed to do my last year this year yeah. at Tambor City, uh, but because of due to finances, my mom told me you will not be able to go to school. Yeah. And literally throughout, I think this month, I was just crying from the beginning. This is what I've been waiting yeah. for. So final cut, I have to, I have to be in the top 14. I think you should know something about me. I think it is precisely the small things I run on about and that seem to annoy you so the little day-to-day -day details, and the nurses that give our lives some meaning. I don't want to say anything, but I want to say 100 rand in the end. I don't want to say anything, but I want to say something, man. I care about cooking the burgers, so each of you get exactly what you ask for. Yo, why? Popeye! I don't want to say anything, but I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything, but I don't want to say anything. Don't man, don't man, don't man, don't man, don't man. That's a minute. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. That was really nice. I enjoyed that. What you did with the different characters, and so it just shows that.